Hi, hello, welcome to my channel Learn More Maths. My name is Varakumar. Today we are going to draw the graph of a quadratic polynomial. Very, very important. Uh, every time he is asking for four marks in the public examination. So definitely you can get one mark from this area. So very, very important. You have to practice three, four times so you can get perfect. So totally this is a, a third problem from 3.2 exercise. So totally there are five bits in the third problem. This is the first bit. So see here how can we draw the graph of a given quadratic polynomial and from the graph we have to find the zeros of the quadratic polynomial. So see here what he has given. Uh, draw the graphs of given polynomials and find the zeros justify the answers. So first one p of x is equal to x square minus x minus 12 so here uh, the given polynomial is uh, p of x equal to x square minus x minus 12 so to draw the graph of a uh, uh, given quadratic polynomial we have to find the ordered pairs for that let the given polynomial y is equal to x square minus x minus 12 so we have to find the table of ordered pairs so by taking the x values we have to find the corresponding y values by substituting the x values in the equation y is equal to x square minus x minus 12 so here uh, let y is equal to x square minus x minus 12 so this is table of ordered pairs so these are the x values uh, i have taken minus 3 minus 2 0 1 2 3 4 so next uh, uh, what is there in the equation we have to observe x square minus x minus 12 so we require x square value so next x square minus x is there yes i have written x square minus x next x square minus x minus 12 so this is x square minus x minus 12 so by writing x and y in a bracket we can get the ordered pairs so now have to find uh, see here uh, uh, these are the x values so how can we get x square by squaring all the x values we can get x square values here it is minus 3 minus 3 whole square is plus 9 minus 2 whole square is 4 uh, 0 square is 0 uh, 1 square is 1 uh, 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 4 square is 16 so these are the x square values simply by squaring the x values we can get the x square values so next we have to find x square minus x by substituting x values from x square we can get x square minus x so all these are x square all these are x values so x square minus x that is 9 minus of minus 3 it is 9 plus 3 12 9 plus 3 is 12 directly i am writing so here 4 minus of minus 2 it is 4 plus 2 that is a 6 so 0 minus 0 is a 0 so next 1 minus 1 is a 0 4 minus 2 is a 2 9 minus 3 is a 6 16 minus 4 is a 12 so these are x square minus x values so next we have x square minus x minus 12 so these are x square minus x values by subtracting 12 from x square minus x we can get uh, x square minus x minus 12 values simply have to substitute 12 from all these values so 12 minus 12 is 0 here 6 minus 12 is minus 6 0 minus 12 is minus 12 again 0 minus 12 is minus 12 so just we have to subst uh, subtract 12 from all these values uh, 2 minus 12 is minus 10 uh, 6 minus 12 is minus 6 12 minus 12 is 0 so see here what i did just uh, i have subtracted 12 from all these values to get x square minus x minus 12 these are x square minus x so x square minus x minus 12 so we have want x square minus x minus 12 values so, so just i have subtracted 12 minus 12 is 0 6 minus 12 is minus 6 0 minus 12 is minus 12 0 minus 12 is minus 12 2 minus 12 is minus 10 
6 minus 12 is minus 6 12 minus 12 is a 0 so next uh, these are the y values by writing x and y values we can get ordered pairs minus 3 comma 0 minus 3 comma 0 so next uh, minus 2 comma minus 6 minus 2 comma minus 6 0 comma minus 12 0 comma minus 12 1 comma minus 12 here it is 1 comma minus 12 so next 2 comma minus 10 2 comma minus 10 3 comma minus 6 3 comma minus 6 4 comma 0 4 comma 0 so these are the ordered pairs of the given quadratic polynomial y is equal to x square minus x minus 12. So by plotting these ordered pairs on a graph sheet we can get a curve. So now we have to observe where the curve is intersecting the x axis from the uh, points of intersection we can get the zero values. So now we have to plot these uh, uh, we have to plot all these ordered pairs on a graph sheet. So see here how can we plot them on the graph sheet. So now we have to plot the points on the graph sheet. Uh, before that we have to decide the scale. So by observing the x coordinates and the y coordinates. Uh, so it is enough to take 1 centimeter as 1 unit on the x uh, axis. Uh, but on the y axis we have to take 1 centimeter is equal to 2 units. Uh, so it is very important before going to identify the points on the graph sheet we have to decide the scale. So the first two point is minus 3 comma 0. So x is a minus 3, y is, y is 0, it lies on the x axis. So and the second point is minus 2 comma minus 6, x coordinate is minus 2, y coordinate is minus 6. So it will be, uh, see here, uh, minus 2 comma minus 6. So this is minus 3 comma 0 after next to minus 2 comma minus 6. So identify next uh, minus 2 comma minus 6 so it is minus 2 and uh, at minus 6 yes it is uh, minus 2 comma minus 6 x is minus 2 y is minus 6 yes this is a, a minus 2 comma minus 6 so next uh, uh, minus 1 comma 10 x coordinate is minus 1 a uh, y coordinate is minus 10 so on the yes here it is uh, minus 1 comma minus 10 uh, this is minus 1 comma minus 10 so next uh, uh, 0 comma minus 12 so here uh, x value is 0 y value is minus 12 it lies on the y axis so 0 comma minus 12 lies on the y axis uh, here it is 0 comma minus 12 so next uh, we have uh, 1 comma minus 12 so x value is 1 y value is minus 12 so here uh, uh, see here where it lies so so x value is 1 yes y is minus 12 uh, that is a uh, 1 comma minus 12 so next we have 2 comma minus 10 2 comma minus 10 x value is 2 y value is minus 10 so see here uh, where it lies so here x is 2 y is minus 10 yes here it is so next we have 4 comma 0 so x value is 4 y value is 0 so it lies on the x axis so see here where it lies 4 comma 0 again we have to identify Four, yes here it is 4 comma 0 
yes it is 4 comma 0 so now we have to join the points with a smooth curve with the help of a pencil so see here how can we join the points so here the point is 4 comma 0 so now join all the points with the help of a pencil with a smooth curve so see here how can we join the points now yes by passing through all the points we have to draw a smooth curve with the free hand so see here like this we can join all the points with the help of a sharp pencil so we can get the curve like this see you can extend of the curve yes we can get the uh, curve the name of the curve is the parabola here it is uh, the parabola so now uh, we have to find the zeros from the graph so here uh, the graph is intersecting the x axis at the points uh, minus 3 comma 0 and 4 comma 0 so see here uh, how can we uh, find the zeros from the graph so from the graph the parabola is intersecting the x axis at the points minus 3 comma 0 and 4 comma 0 therefore the egg, the x coordinates of the points uh, minus 3 comma 0 and 4 comma 0 are minus 3 and 4 therefore the zeros of a p of x is equal to minus 3 comma 4 so like this we can draw the graph of a given quadratic polynomial so that's all today's class student will meet in the next class with another problem thanks for watching